Hello everybody, welcome to Soapbox Slam. Good evening. Uh, tonight I'm gonna get my soapbox about uh, a television show. And before I get into the television show, um, it's really about a wonderful comedian. Um, so I was watching, you know, I was on the internet and um, Cat Williams had made this um, kind of scathing remarks about a lot of the comedians in um, in the industry, right? He was on this uh, Shannon Sharp show, Shea Club Shay Shay, where Shannon Sharp does these interviews with different people in the community. And he was on the show and he was just talking about um, Bernie Mac. I'm not talking about my soapbox about Bernie Mac. And this really isn't a slam. It's, you know, uh, I'm on my soapbox to talk about Bernie Mac because I, I never, so I never watched a lot of the, the Bernie Mac show. Now I have seen a lot of movies with Bernie Mac and I certainly saw Kings of Camp, Kings of Comedy. And I also sh remember when, and I, I own the, the deaf comedy um, collection. So I, I kind of, I love comedy, right? My two favorite things are like, I love comedy. I love action. Um, those are my, and then I love like um, cartoons, right? Those are my like go-to kind of um, television entertainment. Those are the genres that I really, really enjoy. Um, I love comedy because it pokes fun at whether it's satire, political satire or something like that. Um, or I love comedy because it's a story with a punchline um, and it makes you laugh. And we laugh at things that we find to be true and we find in ourselves. So we laugh at that, right? And and it and it allows us. Laughter is really a great um a great remedy to get your body back on the right frequencies, right? To get your body back in in a um a good state, right? Um it it, it when the cliche or the the expression laughter heals the soul uh or laughter is good for the soul, it really is, right? There's a reason behind it because it it it, it it allows us to be humble, right? And and that's a wonderful thing to be. Um, you know, it, it it allows us to not take everything so seriously and take everything to heart. Good comedy and and comedy, even the political comedy that George Carlin did and and things like that, where it, it was funny, but it was an attack on the system and everything else, right? It's great. Now, Comedy Today, I've done many, many posts about, and I'll do many more about comedians today and, and who I find to be a good comedian, who I don't. I, for example, I don't think um, comedians that go around a comedy room and insult people is um, comedy. I, I, I think that that is uh, a reflection of today's society, uh, and, and it's not very nice. Um, I, th I think people like Matt Rafe and everything else who all they do is go around and, and they may think they may be poking fun at people um, and they might be on the right side of things like I think Matt Rife pokes comedy at people or, or cuts people down um, where he kind of makes people feel stupid about their position on things or how things can be misconstrued. I, I think he's talented at that. Yes, I do. But I don't think he's a comedian. Right. Um, I just think he's quick-witted and and able to um, be um, be um, sarcastic towards people and everything else. But this sl this slam isn't necessarily about comedy. Uh, uh, this soapbox, me on my soapbox, isn't about comedy. It's actually about Bernie Mac, and it came because I was watching this this um, interview that Cat Williams did with Shannon Sharp. And Cat Williams had made some comments that I thought were very strong comments, calling um, Bernie Mac, you know, a king, uh, a king of comedy, a, a a superior comedian, and and just you know up there with some of the the comedians that I would consider to be top notch com comedians, right? And I'm like, huh, I never really got that from Bernie. Now, having said that, I I I remember when, I remember and I have it on tape and or. Um, I stream it all the time. I, Bernie Mac to me is hilarious. He was hilarious when he was on Def Comedy Jam. He was hilarious as a king com, com, king of comedy. Um, he is extremely funny. And I watched some of his uh, 
some of his movies, Mr. 3000, you know, um, well, it, I think it was Any Given Sunday, um, you know, Bernie Mac has been in movies and has played a supporting role where he has been funny and he has been serious and, and you know, he, he was a great man. But I was trying to figure out what exactly did Cat Williams, what evidence of Cat Williams' comment made Bernie Mac a, a next level kind of comedian? And that's where I was like, well, I kind of felt, fell short because I hadn't known that much about him, right? I, I, I knew the little ancillary things that he's done and, you know, I have always enjoyed him no matter what he's did. I mean, he was in Friday, you know, uh, and, and things like that. And it was like, okay, what, what warranted um, this kind of accolade, right? Was this a, a genuine accolade or was this something, you know, where somebody was just trying to uh, give a plug to someone, right? Or give a plug for their, for their, for their, for their friend or their buddy. Now, Bertie Mac died. He died of a heart condition and it was um, very, very sad. Um, when he died, it, I mean, I was like, oh man, that sucks. But it didn't really affect me, I think, the way that it should have. Um, and after that comment, I went back and started watching everything Bernie Mac, right? And then I watched his television show. And he did a, a television show called The Bernie Mac Show. And I started to realize, wow, what a fantastic man. Right. And then there's this TV special it was an HBO special about Bernie Mac right around the time that he died. They did interviews with many people that he had knew, known in Hollywood. And, you know, it, 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 like I said, it was like a, a, um, a tribute or a television show tribute, documentary tribute to Bernie Mac. And I watched that and I was like, huh, why? Why all of these? Wow. All not necessarily why, but wow. All of these people in the industry who, who got to work with him had nothing but the most glowing accolade for him. And I thought, where's all this coming from? Did I miss something? And so I went back and researched and, and, and saw where it's all coming from. And hands down, hands down, Bernie Mac was a phenomenal, phenomenal man, a phenomenal black man, and a phenomenal, phenomenal com comedian. And I use the word phenomenal. It's a very strong word in the English language to use. And I, I use it, and I don't know that I'm even using it with the right justice to Bernie Mac. As you can tell, I'm giving him a lot of accolade myself. And uh, it's not it's not that I'm following the sheep or, 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 or following the status quo, right? Um, I did my research and, and made my judgment for myself. Um, and that's where I'm coming to this conclusion. Um, I found, first of all, um, I think he was completely overlooked by mainstream America and, um, and a lot of other people, but he was never overlooked by the black community. When I say the, the core black community, I mean the core black community that would have known Bernie Mac when he was in the underground comedian circuit, right? The core black community that when he had done something, they would have gone to go and see it because of his name, right? Which a lot of times it, it, within the black community and then at larger outside in the in American community is kind of in gradations, right? You know, the core black community will support a person that a lot of other people may not know or may not support or may not know the, the, the breadth of their work, right? Uh, because they're, they're just never paid attention to it. And I fall victim to that, to that group, right? Never paid attention to it, knew who he was, certainly knew his name um, long before any, any of these accolades or, or Cat Williams comments. Like I said, I, I had watched Bernie Mac when he was on Death Comedy Jam. I never watched the Bernie Mac show, but I did see a lot of the other movies and things like that where he played um, supporting roles. And thought he was hilarious, right? His comedic timing, his facial expressions and all that other stuff is top notch, right? You only get a few comedians who have that, right? Eddie Murphy, Bill Cosby, Red Fox, uh, Richard Pryor, um, George Carlin, uh, Gene, Gene Wilder, um, um, Steve Martin, right? There, there are certain comedians who, uh, uh, Carol Burnett, I mean, that she's another one, phenomenal, right? Again, this soapbox isn't about all the other comedians. I can do a soapbox show about these kind of comedians, um, but this is about Bernie Mac, particularly. And I would encourage 
I really would encourage the lot of you to go back and see his body of work, particularly the Bernie Mac show. Um, I find the Bernie Mac show a show that really, you, you know, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, a black Al Bundy, but even better because he's black. <laughs> I, I really enjoy Bernie Mac. And, and when I watched his show, the Bernie Mac show, it's really what kind of sealed the deal for me. Like like I said, his other works, Friday and Mr. 3000, where he had a lead role, but um, Mr. 3000, um, uh, any given, any given, uh, any given Sunday. Uh, I mean, <laughs> there, uh, uh, Ocean's Eleven at yeah, twelve and thirteen. I mean, his supporting role is 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 top notch, and you love him, right? You absolutely love him in these roles. I certainly did. Um, but it wasn't until I watched the Bernie Mac show, and you you get an <laughs> an insight to who he was as a man how he thought, what he believed, his compassion, his empathy, his, <laughs> his position on things. I, I mean, it's kind of like this black, um, 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 Al, not Al, uh, Al Bundy, but the, the main character in, um, in All of the Family, right? There's these certain characters, right, that they put on television, male characters, who... <laughs> who may not be politically correct or socially correct but but there's always the most endearing quality about these men that it comes off one way but when you get through the story the episode you're like oh what a lovely man right <laughs> i mean even al bundy uh uh ed 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 uh, I forget his last name in, in, in Modern Family and Al Bundy. You know, he says these things, but it's somewhere in this in this <laughs> this position of, you know, stoic man, this man box, this stoic man, it, it, there's this most redeeming, endearing quality about him that make that it, that truly endears you to him. And that's who Bernie Mac was. Um, and that's who he is. Uh, I, I I really, really think uh, America slept on Bernie Mac, and it was so un unfortunate for him to to have died so suddenly uh, of a heart condition, a rare heart condition um, that took his life. Um, but I mean, you know, if you listen to his comedy, if you listen to the story, um, um, it, it, the TV show, and everything else, and you listen to interviews of, with him and interviews about him, you really get the sense of what kind of man he was, and you know. I, I I spend my life figuring out what kind of man I want to be. Um, and I try to draw characters, um, people characters that I see in the world, whether they're celebrities, whether they're um, in my immediate family, uh, whatever the case may be. I try, I try to embody characteristics of them, pulling from them pieces of those people that I want to emulate and be and make up who I am, right? And, and Bernie Mac is top notch. Uh, there's so much about him, especially watching his TV show, The Bernie Mac Show. There's so much about him that I was sl I slept on for years until I started watching. This is my first time watching that show. I, I don't know what, what network it aired on. I know there were five seasons of it as I did my research on him and everything else. I mean, there were five seasons, I mean, five years of, of, of Bernie Mac. I mean, that's that's fantastic. And I've been going through all of them. I haven't even finished the whole season, all, the whole complete season. I think I've gotten through uh, season three, middle of season three, and I decided to finally make this post about him. And like I said, all this was sparked by the discussion that Cat Williams had with Sh um, with Shannon Sharp on, on, on um, Club Shay Shay. Uh, where he interviews different celebrities. And like I said, it was Cat Williams who made these accolades that I was like, are those accolades warranted? Let me research who Bernie Mac was. And so that's where all this is coming from. And that's why I'm posting about somebody who's passed away. And I'm encouraging um, people who may have or forgotten about Bernie Mac or don't know the breadth of, of his life and his work to actually dig in a little deeper, watch some of his stuff. He was really a funny man, and he was a good man, a good black man. He was really a good man. 
Um, and his comedy and his TV show is great. I mean, he it's about him being a parent and you know it's not it's not it's not the carbon copy formulas that uh, a lot of other um black television shows family television shows ha have adopted it, it's a totally different approach it's a totally different format it's actually one of the first formats where you see the actor break the fourth wall and look at the camera and talk to the camera as i look back on in a timely way as to when this started occurring in our society it's probably one of the first shows that actually did that um, which is groundbreaking as far as um, television and, and and breaking the fourth wall, right? And this is where it kind of, you know, this is where you really get, see it happening and occurring in this television show. So, I mean, the, the Bernie Mac show is a great show. I've been watching it. Um, I think it's free on Tubi and uh, Amazon Prime and, and, and some of these other networks where you can watch it. But I, I encourage you to watch it because like I said, he um it, it, first of all it's about family and um raising kids and like i say it's 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 fantastic it really is fantastic bernie mac really was a fantastic man and um he deserves all the accolades that people have have been giving to him so i encourage you if you don't know bernie mac or you're not familiar with his work go and look at his work he's a great man all right that's what i'm on my soapbox about have a great night